you're very welcome to this video. This is our 11th video in our series for junior cycle business on insurance. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to actually calculate average clause uh, fully out there with real numbers. So we have a sample question up here at the top. And the question basically says, a house was flooded and partially damaged. The actual value of the house is €250,000, but it's only insured for €200,000. Uh-oh, they haven't insured it for the full amount. The owners are claiming €20,000 in compensation for the damage. How much compensation will be paid out to the owners in this case? So in this question, we can see clearly that the owners of the house haven't insured the house, uh, house for the full value. So therefore, they're not going to get the full €20,000 that they're claiming in compensation. So we have here our formula for average clause. If you're not sure, uh, if you, we learned about this uh, formula in the last video, link is in the top right corner of the video there now. So if you want to have a look back at that, you can. The formula here is the amount insured over the actual value multiplied by the loss. So in other words, how much they insured it for over what the value of the asset is multiplied by how much they've lost. So the first thing uh, you should always do in a question like this is you should write out the formula so that way the examiner can give you marks for that. Even if you use the wrong formula, you can still possibly pick up marks. So now let's fill in the information that we have here. So I like to list out the information first, like draw the information from the question. So I need to find out the amount insured first. So if we look into the question, we can see that the house is insured for only 200,000 euro. So I'm gonna write in there 200,000. Next, we need to figure out what the actual value of the, of the um, asset or the house is in this case. So the house, the actual value of the house is 250,000 euro. So I'm going to write in there 250,000. And last but not least, the loss. So what loss have they incurred? Well, we were told here in the question, the owners are claiming 20,000 euro compensation for the damage. So they have a loss there of 20,000. Now that I've drawn the figures out of the question I, and list them out here, I now need to put them into my formula up there. So my amount insured, well, that's 200,000 over the actual value, which is 250,000 euro. Multiply by my loss, which in this case is 20,000 euro, and I can quite simply put this into my calculator and I'm going to get an answer of 16,000 euro. So what that means is that this, uh, this household are going to get 16,000 euro for the insurance company for the damage they received because they underinsured the property. That brings the end of the video, folks. This question here was taken from Edco's Junior Cycle Business book, Time for Business. Um, if you want any more information on the Edco package, go onto the website edco.ie. I hope you enjoyed this video, folks. If you have any questions, please ask below in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, and why not subscribe to the channel? Thanks very much for watching, folks. See you in the next video. Bye now.